Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Celosia Callway. And Celosia writes to say that she has seen various people drawing demonic symbols, and she does not think this is safe. And she asks if I think it is safe to draw unknown symbols in this manner. And the place that I would start in answering this question is that I don't really know what Celosia means by demonic. Does she mean this in a Christian sense, in a ceremonial sense, in an ancient Greek sense, or in an Asian sense? The term could in theory be used in any of these different contexts and have a very different meaning. Because I don't know what she means, I'm going to assume she's speaking of the Christian sense of the term demonic. Although I will take just a moment to point out that in its origin, the word demon simply means spirit, and it's sometimes used to translate ideas from other cultures that are not the same thing as what Christians mean by the term demonic. Uh, but, again, I'm going to assume that it's the Christian sense that Celosia is asking about. Having said that, the next question is, what exactly is meant by drawing these symbols? Are we simply asking about drawing them without intent or without energy behind them? Uh, if that is the case, I'd say I don't really see that there's any harm in it. I do not think that simply drawing something is going to cause anything or allow anything to happen. It is simply making a picture. And I think that there certainly are a lot of people who will say, oh no, this is terribly dangerous, and I think they're rather silly and superstitious, to be honest. Um, to use this sort of image as a key to a spirit in a way that is going to have an effect, you need to have intent and you need to have energy. And if you simply have a picture, it really is simply a picture. Having said that, if you're talking about using them in a ritual or a magical context, well then I would say you really should know what they mean and you should have a clue to what the picture represents and what it will connect to. But without that intent, it's not going to connect. And in fact, without the intent, the picture really doesn't even have a meaning because it's simply a symbol. And it is through the intent that the symbol is activated. And if you don't activate it, it again, it's simply a picture. So I hope that answers your question and gives you something to think about, and until next time, may you blessed be. Today's vlog is brought to us by the term sigil. Sigils. A sigil is a magical symbol representing a deity, spirit, or concept in picture form. A sigil is usually very abstract and easy to draw so that anyone can use it. Sigils are very important in magic because they convey complex ideas in simple forms, and because in former times, people who used magic often could not read, and so relied upon pictographic forms to convey ideas much more than people tend to do today.